Hello. Good evening, everybody. Hello, go. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. I am sick. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. Are you are you um, taking medication? Oh, you have a cold. Mm. Me tocó nadar ayer. What? Hoy me pegó. In, but in Andaba English. En moto. <laughs> mm. uh -huh. I am riding the motorcycle. Mm -hmm. you were, yeah, you were riding the motorcycle. Um, <laughs> Huh? Um, no, no, um, swimming, porque al final nadamos. Oh, okay. You went swimming, uh huh. And? Lo más triste. Eh, ayer no me pegó la gripe, pero hoy sí. Oh, so you probably have, yeah, you probably have a cold and not, and not the flu. Probably. Yeah, you probably just because you went swimming, right? Because you went swimming. Cayó el bombazo de agua y me tocó nadar. Ah, okay. Now I understand. So you didn't go swimming. You just you just got wet. So ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo? You got wet. Se mojó. Sí. Uh -huh. Andamos en la moto y cayó Elber. Entonces, ni modo. Ah, okay, okay. I thought you went swimming. You literally went swimming. Pensé que había ido a nadar. <laughs> no, nadé por metro. Okay. Okay, okay. Por la correntada, dice. Oh, eh, you can, you can um, try uh, taking vitamin C to, to boost your immune system. <laughs> Do you, do you know vitamin C? ¿Cómo? Vitamin C. Do you know vitamin C? No sé si yo tengo lento el inter, pero se le escucha todo entrecortado. ¿Me escucha, me escucha entrecortado? Un poquito. Yes. Sí. Yes. sí es que creo que me está fallando un poco el Wi-Fi, pero... Vitamin C. I wrote in the oh. chat. <laughs> yeah? Limonadita. Oh, good. Even better. Even better. That's, that's, um, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's very powerful. Okay, good. All right, class. Um, so what we're going to do right now is um, I think we can start with the attendance. Creo que es suficiente ahorita para empezar con la asistencia. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right. So first we have um, Aaron Alberto Peraza Martel. Aaron Alberto. Adriana Beatriz Rodríguez Sosa. Present. Wonderful. Ana Mercedes Solorzano Najarro. Present teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Blanca Rosa Hernández de Rosales. No, so... Uh, Blanca Rosa Hernández de Rosales. Okay. Um, Daniel Osvaldo Aquino Coreas. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Dora Stephanie Mejia Mejia. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin Adonai Jans Calderón.
Edwin Adonai Jens Calderón. Eloisa Abigail Ortiz de García. Ok, thank you. Eh, Gloria Elizabeth Orellana de Mayen. Present. Very good. Henry Osvaldo Quintanilla López. Present. Thank you. Eh, Hugo Adalberto Orellana Vides. Hugo Adalberto. José Ángel Hernández López. Present. Perfect. Teacher. Wonderful. Thank you. Juan Alberto Cabrera Herrera. Juan Alberto. Catherine Stephanie Salazar Serrano. Present. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Catherine Jamilet Aviles Garcia. Present. Great. Um, Kenia Vanessa Funes Espinosa. Kenia Vanessa Funes Espinosa. Kevin Adrián Rodríguez López. Kevin Adrián. Kimberly Natalie Contreras González. Okay, thank you. Um, Marvin Alberto Morales Solórzano. Present. Thank you. Maynard Alexander Santos Solís. Present. Thank you. Pamela Noemi Pineda Ayala. Pamela Noemi Pineda Ayala. Pedro Natán Ramírez Andrade. Pedro Natán. Pamela escribió en el chat, Miss. Oh. Okay. Um, what is it? What is it? What is chat? In the chat, the de... De Zoom. Ah, de Zoom. Ok. Ok, so Pamela está enferma. No puede contestar. Ok. Um, all right, let's continue then. Um, I hope you feel better, Pamela. Pedro Natán Ramírez Andrade. Pedro Natán, uh, Rafael Antonio Aguilar Carpio, Rafael Antonio Aguilar Carpio, Romeo Antonio Gutiérrez Cerón. Present. Wonderful, thank you. Uh, Ruth del Carmen Rosales Villeda. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Guadalupe Alfaro Herrera. Oh. No sé si se escuche bien. Present Sandra. Teacher. Ok, thank you. Very good. Uh, Sonia Yanira García de la Cruz. 
Present teacher. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Present. Okay, great. Thank you. Victor Manuel Arqueta Rauda. Victor Manuel. Okay. Um, y Yanira Guadalupe Cumi de Rivera. Yanira Guadalupe Cumi de Rivera. Okay. ¿Me escuchan bien todos? Yes. ¿Sí? Yes. Ok. Um, yes. Miss. Sorry. Um, I have uh -huh. a problem with connection. Ok. Oh, ok. Oh, thank you. Um, Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, sí, eh, de hecho, les, les digo antemano, creo que, creo que mi conexión tampoco está muy estable. Así que si sí, en algún momento no me escuchan bien o quieren que repita algo, me, me dicen, ¿ok? ¿Sí me escuchan bien ahorita? Yes, sí, please. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Excellent. So, um, we are going to start. Uh, tell me if you can see my screen. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So yesterday we were talking about parts of the body. And specifically when also part, parts of our body hurt. Like for example, when your head hurts, what do you say? What do you call that when your head hurts? You go, oh, what do you call that? What do you call that in Spanish? Tell me in Spanish. When your head hurts. Uh, Dolor de cabeza. Dolor de cabeza. Good. So we're going to be learning how to talk about pain in our body. Okay. So when we're talking about pain in our body, um, oh, just a moment. Okay, so when we're talking about pain in our body, we can ask the question like, what's the matter? What's wrong? How are you? Or how do you feel? That is when you're asking the person about their health. So repeat after me. What's the matter? 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 Mm -hmm. Good. What do you, uh, what does it mean? What's the matter in Spanish? Kind of. What's the matter? It's like saying um. It's like saying what's the problem. Okay, what's the problem? What's the matter? Uh, what, what's happening? What's, what's the problem? Okay. Then this one is, what's wrong? What does it mean, what's wrong? What's wrong? Mm -hmm. What's wrong?
So what's wrong means it's like saying what's it's also like saying what's the problem. Okay, what's wrong? Um, in Spanish, how would you say what's wrong? Que pasa? Mm -hmm. Que pasa? Okay. Que pasa? ¿Cuál es el problema? Okay, so repeat after me. What's wrong? Can you repeat? What's wrong? What's wrong? Everybody, what's, what's wrong? wrong? What's wrong? Mm -hmm. Good. Next one. What's wrong? Very good. How are you? 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 Good. Excellent. What does it mean, how are you? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Very good. ¿Cómo estás? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo estás o cómo está? Right? Because remember, you can be singular, uh, informal, or singular plural, sorry, single, singular uh, formal, which is like usted, or it can even be plural, like um, ustedes. Yes, somebody had a question? No. ¿Alguien tenía una pregunta? Es que escuché una, una... Miss, vengo, ven, voy entrando a la clase y creo que ya pasó lista. Ok. ¿Quién está hablando? Eh, Kenia Vanessa Funes. Ok, Kenia Vanessa Funes. Gracias, Kenia Vanessa. Teacher, mm -hmm. excuse me. Miss. Yes. Ta, eh, yes, Pedro. También yo entré, entré tarde. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. All right, any other thank question you. that you have? You have any questions about about this? No? Okay. Now, the other one is how do you feel? Repeat. How do you feel? How, how, do, you how, feel? Do, you feel? how do you feel? Okay, good. What do you what does that mean in Spanish? How do you feel? Como te sientes? Como te sientes? Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent. Uh, now to answer those two questions. There is um, two ways that you can answer. You can answer using um, the structure. Have plus a noun or feel plus an adjective. Okay. So have, what, what is have in Spanish? Tener. And feel in Spanish? Sentir. Sentir. Right. So we can have that. Um, have plus a noun or feel plus an adjective. Examples of these is uh, of these example or of these um, structures are the following. I have a headache. I have a headache. Repeat. I have a headache. I have a headache. I have a headache. Repeat. I have a headache. I have a headache. Yes, very good. What does it mean? I have a headache. Cabeza me me duele la cabeza. Can you repeat? Tengo dolor de cabeza. Tengo un dolor de cabeza. Tengo un Teacher. dolor de cabeza. Remember, I have means tengo. Yes. ¿Alguien tiene una pregunta? Yo. Uh -huh. Para la migraña también se dice lo mismo. You say, I have a migraine. Okay. ¿Cómo? You say, I 
have a migraine. Uh, okay. Okay. So you can say, I have a migraine. Migraine. Okay. I have a migraine. Can you repeat? I have a migraine. Oh, okay. Can you repeat that? I have a migraine. Everybody. I have a migraine. Good. I have a migraine. Okay. So this is migraine. This is headache. Headache. Repeat. Headache. 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 Good. Remember, remember, please, please, please remember that um, we use a we with this part here is we pronounce it ache, ache, not h, h no ache. Okay. All right. Um, yes, I have a headache. Okay, next. I have a bite. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. I have a backache. I have. I have a backache. Repeat. I have a backache. I. I have a back. I have a back back ache. Back. Back ache. Good. Remember, ache. ache. What does it mean, backache? What is the meaning of backache? Tengo un dolor de espalda. Tengo un dolor de espalda. Tengo un dolor de espalda. Good. Okay. And uh, I can also say. Um, I have the flu. I have the flu. I have the flu. Good, I have the flu. All right, excellent. What is it? Uh, what does it mean? I have the flu. Tengo la influenza. Tengo la influenza uh, o tengo una gripe. El COVID. ¿Mm? El COVID. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, COVID is a, it's not in, it's not the flu. It's COVID okay. is is another virus. Okay. Me faltó ahí este en la lista. Me duele la rodilla. Mm. Yeah, you actually in that one you would say, I have knee pain. I have knee pain. Yeah, I'll write it. I'll write it down. I have knee. Uh, knee pain. Justamente lo que tengo. Hay una lista. Oh, okay. Okay. My goodness. Okay, good. Now, you can also ask how the person feels. You say, how are you? How do you feel? And you say, I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Repeat, I, ho I feel homesick. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Yes, I feel homesick. What does it mean? I feel homesick. Me siento nostálgico. Me siento nostálgico. Nostálgico. Pero nostálgico de qué clase de nostalgia? ¿Qué, ¿Qué tipo de nostalgia? De su casa. 
Uh -huh. It means when you are away from home and you are away for a long time, you can feel homesick. Okay? That's what homesick means. Okay? So you you miss your house. Okay? Okay. Only house, teacher. Okay. Um, so here we're using the structure. Um, okay, I feel homesick. So we have feel and then the noun. Sorry, the adjective. Sorry, the adjective. Homesick is an adjective. And then you say here, I feel better. Repeat, I feel better. I feel better. Good. Okay, excellent. Uh, what does it mean I feel better? Me siento mejor. Me siento mejor, very good. Or, or the opposite, no. I don't feel well. Means a question. Mm -hmm. No, me siento bien. Good, yes. You, somebody had a question? Feel uh, is similar uh, um, uh, to be. Zero star. Is similar? Um, feel means sentir. So uh -huh. I feel homesick, me siento nostálgico. I feel better, me siento okay. mejor. I don't feel well, okay. no me siento bien. Okay? Okay. okay. Uh, la pregunta en español es, yo me siento, ser, uh, yo estoy, ser estar. Pero ya en inglés, el feel de sentir, de padecer. No entendí muy bien la pregunta. Can you repeat? Ok. Ok. Um, ya, ya capté perfectamente. Uh, feel is sentir de padecer. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. Thanks. Ok, very good. Ok. And negative adjectives. We have words like sick. Repeat after me, sick. 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 Yeah, sick. Awful. Awful. Repeat, awful. 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 Mm -hmm. Terrible. Terrible. Miserable. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Do we understand this vocabulary? Sick, miserable. awful, terrible, miserable? Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes. What is what is awful? Awful. How do you say awful in Spanish? Terrible. Yeah. Yeah, awful is, is similar to horrible. Awful, horrible. Okay. Then we have positive adjectives. Repeat after me. Fine. 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 Great. Yeah. Great. Right. Great. Right. Great. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. right. right. Very good. Great. Right. Terrific. 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 Very good. Fantastic. Fantastic. 
Good. Do we understand these adjectives? Do we understand these adjectives? Hmm. Yes, no? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Um, what is terrific? Fantastic. Terrific, yeah. Terrific means great, fantastic, um, excellent. Okay, terrific. Okay. Um, okay, very good. Um, Chair, I have a yeah. mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, mm -hmm. Homesick, we use only places. Yes, exactly. That's what I wanted to explain. Es que eso, eso es lo que quería precisamente porque en español la palabra nostálgico, nostálgica, puede, es, es, es muy general. Puede uno estar nostálgico de muchas cosas, ¿verdad? Eh, sí. Puede estar nostálgico pensando de, ay, el pasado, mis amigos, ¿verdad? Cuando estaba en la secundaria, etcétera, etcétera. Pero homesick is specifically for your, eh, por las cosas que uno añora de, de su casa. ¿Ok? Entonces, um, si uno está fuera de, de casa por mucho tiempo, yo digo fuera de casa, estoy hablando como, por ejemplo, en otra ciudad, en otro país. That's homesick. ¿Ok? Eh, extrañar cuando... cosas del hogar. ¿Mm? Extrañar cosas del hogar. Sí, extrañar, su eh, extrañar su casa, su, su ciudad, sus amigos, sus uh, familiares, su comida. ¿verdad? Porque está en otro lugar que no puede obtener eso. ¿Ok? Sí, me subí esa duda, pero sí. Uh -huh. yes. Gracias. Sí. Déjame que me claro. Pre es, precisamente eso estaba investigando, pero es que en realidad en español no hay una palabra específica para eso, sino que usamos palabra nostálgico para en general. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero este es bien particular, nostalgia sobre eso. Okay. 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 Good. Um. Okay. Other words for pain. So we have migraine, knee pain. We can also say I have back pain. So or back aches, back ache. I have a back ache. What does it mean? A back ache. What does it mean? A back ache. Un dolor de espalda. Mm -hmm. Dolor espalda. Very good. Okay. Other ones could be, for example, um, I have a sore, sore throat. ¿Se acuerdan throat? ¿Se acuerdan throat? So what is... Dolor de garganta. Dolor de garganta. Exacto. Dolor de garganta. Mm -hmm. uh, También se puede para infección. Sorry. También se puede para infección. A sore throat just means that your your throat hurts. Lo, lo que significa es de que su garganta le duele, independiente por qué sea. Puede ser infección, puede ser un virus, puede ser que se dañó algo en la garganta adentro porque comió algo que le raspó, no sé. Pero, pero le, lo importante es que le duele adentro. So that's a sore throat. Ok. Um, you can also have, I have an earache. What's an earache? Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Don't know if they'll eat them. An earache. I think it's separate. It's an earache. Um, I have a body ache. What is a body ache? Mi cuerpo. Tengo un dolor de cuerpo. Yeah, dolor de cuerpo. A body ache. Remember, this is ache, not H. Ache. Body ache. 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 Yeah. Ache. Okay. All right. What is the pronunciation? Estoy estresada. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. I, I feel, you could say, I feel stressed. I feel stressed. It's sort of going the other category. I feel stressed. I feel stressed. Uh, no, just simply that it depends if it's a noun or an adjective. Okay, so Tengo un, un qué, un dolor de cabeza, un dolor de oído, eh, tengo nostalgia, tengo eh, que, una cosa, tengo algo. So, I have. Okay. Eh, you could say, uh -huh, um, but if you feel like, if you have an adjective, um you you use um you use i feel for adjectives we use feel okay so i feel stressed i feel um, i feel uh, um happy i feel content huh angry yeah i feel angry Remember, angry, not hungry, angry, angry. I feel angry. Okay, I feel worried. I feel worried. What is worried? What is worried? No, aburrido. No, worried. Me siento tranquilo. Worried. Preocupado. Preocupado o preocupada. Ok. All right. Any other questions? No. No. Ok. All right. Um, Okay. Um, let me erase all of this then. I'm clear. I'm gonna clear the drawings. Okay, good. Let's stop sharing for a moment. Si me han podido escuchar bien, verdad? Eh, no se ha oído muy intercortado. Sí. No te No. Okay. Good. All right. So I have the vocabulary here, so to make it easier for you. Um. Please tell me if you can see it. 
Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. So you have a backache. Repeat, a backache. A backache. A backache. A backache. Good. An earache. Backache. An earache. An earache. An earache. An earache. An earache. An earache. A headache. A headache. A headache. A stomachache. A stomachache. A stomachache. Stomach, stomach ache. ache. Good. It's not ache. It's not stomach ache. It's stomach ache. Stomach ache. Mm -hmm. Stomach ache. Uh -huh. Good. A toothache. A toothache. A toothache. A toothache. A toothache. Tooth tooth no, 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 no. Listen. Tooth, 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 hey, tooth, tooth, yeah, toothache, toothache, good, a toothache, good, good, a cold, a cold, a cold, mm -hmm. a cough, a cough, a cough. A cold. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, next. A fever. A fever. A fever. A fever. A fever. Good. The flu. The flu. The flu. The flu. Good. Sore eyes. Sore, Sore eyes. eyes. Sore eyes. Sore eyes. A sore throat. 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 Yeah. Okay, good. Any questions about this vocabulary? Preguntas, preguntas, háganlas. I have a question. Yeah. Tengo una duda respecto a por qué cuando se dice dolor de cabeza, dolor de estómago, dolor de oído, llevan el ache. Y cuando se dice en los ojos y en los demás aparece sore. Um, so ache means that es un dolor. Es un dolor, o sea, dolor. Dolor de oído, dolor de cabeza, dolor de estómago, dolor de, de muela, ¿verdad? And sore, sore means que está como, como, um, ¿Irritado? ¿Mm? Irrita Ajá, es como Irritado. irritado. Como irritado. Ajá, sí, sí, yo diría que más que todo como irritado. Porque no es que le duele, por ejemplo, acá... No es que le, eh, mm. le duelen los ojos, es como que los ojos están irritados y como se siente pasado y todo. ¿Ok? Ok, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Sure. Yeah. No sería correcto decir que la compañía está en la de la mano. Throw, ache, ache. No, we don't say sorry. Ache. No. 
Anything else? Okay. All right. Um, okay, so this is second, guys. Um, okay, so, um, I want you to now practice with your partner, asking your partner how they feel or, you know, um, so, give me a moment. Can you see this? Yes. yes. Okay, good. So what are we gonna, we're gonna do is we're gonna take turns. Um, I'm going to start, for example, I'll start with Dora. Dora, how are you? And you can answer how you feel. You can say, if you say, how are you? You can say, I have a headache. I have a backache. Or you can say, um, you can say, I feel happy. I feel fantastic. Or oh, I feel miserable. Okay. So I'm going to ask you, how are you, Dora? I'm fine. I'm doing well. Okay. Example. Good. Very good, excellent. Now you continue, ask somebody different. Dora, you can ask another person. Diferencia, um, verdad? So uh, Dora, ask another person. Um, Perdón. Pregúntele a otra persona. But I asked you, Dora, how are you? And you said, mm -hmm. I'm great. But ahora usted pregúntele a otro. Kimberly, mm -hmm. how are you? Hi, Dora. I'm fine. Well, uh, in this moment, I feel so happy because I understand that the the young were and the question. Great, Kimberly. Okay, continue. Ask another person. Um, let me say, I don't have question. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Henry? Okay. Did you say Henry? Quien dijo? Kimberly? Uh, Henry. Henry. Okay, Henry. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Henry. How do you feel? What? Repeat. Hi, Henry. Do you listen to me? Do you can listen? Can you hear her, Henry? So Can you hear her? 
Uh, no, I am fine. You're fine, Henry? Fine. Fine, the oído. Oh. No. no. But she was asking, can you hear her? Are you able to hear her? Here, here. Here, can you hear sí, Kimberly? Escucho. Yes. Ya que si la escuchas. Achí. A lo lejos, pero sí. Pensé que me preguntaba cómo estaba del oído. Okay. All right. But uh, maybe Kimberly, you can say it a little bit louder. Okay, so I have a problem with my internet. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't think you're, the problem is you. I think maybe Henry has either slow internet because I can hear you perfectly. Oh, okay. So, I was going to ask him. Yeah, ask him. Okay, Henry, how do you feel? How do you feel? No le logro entender bien eso. Can you maybe Kimberly ask slower? Ask a little bit slower. So Henry, Kimberly asks, how do you feel? Oh, how do you feel? Mm -hmm. eh, sería I feel stressed y I feel eh, hungry. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Hungry or angry? Hungry. Hungry. Huh? Hungry. Oh, hungry. All right. Sure. Why not? Okay, good. All right, Henry, continue. Ask another person. Um, vamos a preguntarle al dormilón de allá. <laughs> What's the matter? Anthony. Well, I wait. Okay. Okay. Good. And uh, so now, Romeo, you continue. Ask another person. Voy a buscar mi victim. Menos mal que me quité eso primero. Sí, si no hubiera sido tú. Pero bueno, le vamos a preguntar a Ana Mercedes. Sí, me imaginé. What's wrong, Ana? Um, nothing. Um, I am happy. I feel happy uh, tonight. Okay, but I I am so so uh, cansado, como se dice? Tired. 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 So tired. Tired. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Anna. Bravo. All right. Any questions about this so far? You have questions? questions? No questions? No? Okay. Um, all right, let me just make sure that you know some vocabulary related to medicine. Okay, so now if you are sick, you probably need medication. Okay. Do you Andale, lo que necesito. <laughs> exactly. So we have here some 
practical medications that you can take at home. These are like, like home, rem, like home, like this is what we call over the counter medications. Do you understand over the counter? Yes, so it's actually very technical words. Over the counter medication. Anybody know over the counter? No. Over the counter medication is is um a medicina de venta libre. Do, do you understand medicina de venta libre? Sin prescripción médica. Exacto. Exacto, sin prescripción médica. O sea, que usted puede ir a, a la farmacia, a cualquier farmacia, se la van a dar sin ningún problema. Ok. Eh, ok, so, the first one is antacids. Antacids. Can you repeat? Antacids. Mm -hmm. Good. So, antacids are when you have what we call heartburn. Do you know heartburn? Heartburn. Do you know heartburn? Heartburn? Mm, not exactly, heartburn. It means like when you eat something that um, it, you eat something that that gives you acid. So in Spanish, you, saw, you call it acidez estomacal. Okay, so that's so when you have heartburn or acidez estomacal, it, you you can have an antacid. Okay. All right. Now, when you have when you're when you have muscle ache, remember muscle ache. What is muscle ache? Dolor muscular. Dolor muscular. Like when you when you go to the gym, right? Like for the first week you go to the gym, you have a muscle ache. So you can you can use a muscle cream. Okay, muscle cream. Yeah. Muscle cream is like, can you give me examples of muscle creams? Famous muscle creams? Dolor muscular. Yeah. Cofal. Cofal, for example, that's a muscle cream. Yeah. Very good. Exactly. Okay. And marihuanol. Yeah. Marihuanol. Exactly. That's a muscle, muscle cream too. Now, you can also have aspirin, right? Aspirin are actually, um, a, a, an aspirin can be used as two things. It can be um, what we call um, painkiller. You understand painkiller? Anybody know? Can you write? I, I, I wrote it here. Painkiller. Okay. Do you know painkiller? Anybody know what? Man? Is? Yeah. Uh -huh. A painkiller is um, like um, an astelgico. Okay. And an astelgico, that would be a painkiller. So it means that it it lessens the pain. When you have pain, it makes you forget about the pain. Okay. Then we have, can you give me an example of a painkiller? An example of a Tylenol, acetaminophen. Metacarbamol is not a painkiller. That's actually more a muscle relaxant. Muscle Ibuprofeno. relaxant. Actually, um, no, ibuprofen 
is um, is different. Okay, ibuprofen is um, a yes, exactly. It's an it's an anti-inflammatory or what we call inset. It's called inset. Inset. What's the favorite inset? May not be used to be the inset. I think it's like that. Inset. Inset. Yeah. Hmm. Inset. An inset is an is a is a medication for pain, but it's non steroid. It it, it doesn't have uh, um um steroids. Okay, so it's called non-steroidal anti-inflammatory. Okay, that's that's what it is. So that's it's it's in, or what we call in Spanish un anti-inflammatorio. Okay. Anti-inflammatorio también sería diclofenac. Diclofenac, yeah. That, that in English you call it diclofenac. Diclofenac is an inset as well. Yes. Correct. Okay. All right. Cough drops or cough, we have cough syrup. First of all, cough syrup. What is cough syrup? Cough syrup? Jarabe. Jarabe. Mm -hmm. Para? Para la tos. Para la tos, oh. yeah. Because jarabe, oh. it could be Mira, anything, right? Yeah. Vero group, vero grip, yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Cough drops. What are cough drops? Drop. Cafecito, ese va a servir para todo. <laughs> no, cough drops. No es café. Cough drops. Cough drops. No, el cafecito para la gripe. No sé cuál es. Sorry. El, el cafecito instantáneo, pues, para la gripe, por lo caliente. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, you mean for a cough drop, uh, cough syrup. Hey. No, but this is cough drop. What is cough drop? Pastillas para la tos. Mm -hmm. Pastillas para la tos. Cofe grip, hijo. No sé, nunca lo he escuchado, pero, pero muy probable. Okay. Yeah, there's a big, I think there's some big drops. I think so, yeah. Okay, cold pills. What are cold pills? Antifluides. Uh-huh, very good. Examples? Así se llama, antifluides. Antifluides? Es un, okay, una marca. Uh -huh. Okay. Any other? Cold pills. Vero grip. Vero grip. Mm -hmm. Good. Excellent. Uh -huh. Very good. And finally, we have eye drops. Eye drops. What are eye drops? Eye drops. Uh -huh. Exactly. Gotas para los ojos. Okay. Good. All right. Any questions about this vocabulary? No, teacher. Okay. All right, guys. Bueno, vamos entonces a terminar ahí el día de hoy. Eh, sería todo por hoy. Eh, any questions? Anything you want to ask before we continue? Oh, but is that before we finish? Vale, solo entonces acordarles de que necesitamos estar trabajando en la plataforma. Esta semana se va a revisar la, la sección 3 y la sección, ¿cómo se llama? Y el, perdón, el mid, mid exam, midterm exam, ¿verdad? El, el, el del medio. Entonces, el examen del medio. Uh -huh. el examen del miedo. Entonces necesitamos eh, trabajar en eso. Si ustedes pueden adelantar y hacer la 4 y la 5, mucho que mejor. Pero si no, por lo menos deben estar haciendo la 3 y el examen de medio. ¿Ok?
Okay, so that's it, everybody. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye.